and welcome back to our video tutorials last video we looked at how to round up in the digitizing session how to digitize future um point future and uh on this video we're looking at how to edit attributes so from the last video just click save to save this work and then we move to how to edit now basically to edit you right click on the hospital future and you go to the attribute table to just make some check-ins before we begin right click sorry right click on the hospital attribute table so on this we know that we have uh are going to be having all of this list but this is a hospital so it was a hospital host, um, future class that was used but then let's just fill it in so you turn it into it was a mistake but then it's the same thing you will turn it into a location or a place an attribute when you're creating yours so what we'll do now is we'll go to the attribute data you see it down here or you come up here and then you see attribute so it's going to come here and then you're going to begin to fill so once it has opened you will click on select then you make selection you select on this point once you select, it's going to open. It's asking what's the name. So we have do. We have do. Shikuru. We can say now FG get them. Since we are type is still public. Because it's a community, it's a public community. But that was not the initial intent as i said you will just use this in place of yeah you apply always apply before you go to the next so that it can be applied so the next one now we have durumi durumi and then we have ownership is still fg fg and then it's public And then you click apply if you don't want to always apply you can click auto apply this here so that once ever you move out of it it will auto apply it okay so now as i click here now i'm going to write the name it's fura and then it's fg still fg and it's public i'm just trying to edit an attribute all right so this time around once i leave there it automatically saves that's one of the use of this uh auto apply so basically this is how you follow through all your points and edit okay so uh one of the mistakes i made was i digitized the point inside the hospital so all you need to do when you're creating is that you create a point future for a place or location so that you name all of these things inside and what and uh, what do you want as your non-spatial attribute because the point you select is your spatial attribute and a non-point those things that describe this area is what is known as non-spatial just what describes it the other one shows the geographical location and the other one shows the things that describes this place 
all right so basically this is how far we're gonna go and always when you are done editing you always click save before you proceed okay so and this brings us to the end of this video and i will see you in the next one